Hello Aquarius, I hope you're well. My name is Madame Butterfly and this is going to be a new love reading for December. December, January, but also it's timeless Aquarius, you know. So whenever you happen to get it is when you are meant to get it. Um, you are very, very welcome here Aquarius. Thank you very much for taking the time to check out the reading. And you know, if you feel like it resonates with you, don't forget to like and subscribe for me. If you feel like that, of course, you know, if you feel like doing that, I'd appreciate it a lot. So this is going to be a new love reading. So it could be someone you already know, or it could be someone that you have yet to meet. Um, you know, if it's someone you already know, it's going to be very unlikely you've been in a relationship with this person before, because it's a new love reading, you know. Um, so it's going to be a new love. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm not going to do an extended for this one Aquarius, I'm just going to do like a longer one. So let's start off with some characteristics about your person. So what would you like Aquarius to know about this person? You have loyal. What else please? What else would you like Aquarius to know about this person? Blue eyes. I know there's another card underneath that. Very wise. What else please, Spirit? a couple more okay so this person is loyal um they are very wise i am so sorry about my throat i don't know what's going on with it i think i'm a bit stuffed up um so your person is very wise <coughs> they are very funny so you're dealing with someone that has a good sense of humor aquarius they are affectionate they might have blue eyes, patient, very patient energy, very protective, the protective vibe you dig. Um, they could have curly hair, but they, they are gorgeous, Aquarius. Whoever this person is, they are gorgeous. And also don't worry like if um, the person you're thinking of, like their characteristics haven't come up here. You know, these could just be for someone that's watching that needs that confirmation. Do you know what I mean? Um, at the bottom of the deck, you have the Knight of Pentacles. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so this person is very methodical, kind of slow. They could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, specifically Virgo or Capricorn. Um, let's see what else comes out. You have the sun, you have the temperance, you have the two of cups, oh my god. Um, you have the star. Who is this? <laughs> Aquarius. And you have the two of wands, alright. So, the moon. This could be someone you have not met yet at all. This could be someone totally new. Let me just see if I can clear my throat. Hold on a second. Hopefully that's a bit better. It's um, probably going to go again in a minute. Um, so you have the moon. <laughs> With the hanged man underneath, so you could be dealing with a Pisces. But kind of looks like this is someone you've yet to meet for quite a lot of you. You have the star here, so it could be another Aquarius. You have the sun, so it could be a Leo. You have the temperance card, so it could be a Sagittarius. Two of cups, Aquarius. This person's a soulmate. You're dealing with a soulmate. Um... They are a wish fulfillment with the star. 
This person is very, very balanced, very, very healing. They're very, very gentle. They really, really take their time. You know, about, you know, they really think about things, they really plan ahead. Um, they might live a little bit far away from you with the two of wands. You know, you guys could live at a wee distance from each other, maybe across water. But they're a very, very happy personality with the sun. You know, it's it, they're very, very positive. Your candle's going a bit nuts. It wasn't really, that's a big flame. <laughs> that's interesting. Um, yeah, they're very, very happy, very positive energy with the sun, very loyal. The temperance, you know, this person has a lot of information. They are very wise. <clears throat> they're very, very balanced. Very calm. They're very, very calm, very kind of placid very soothing energy to be around. You're really gonna love being in this person's energy. Um, you know, this, is a, this person has nothing to hide, absolutely nothing to hide. You know, what you see is what you get with this person. And they're perfect for you. Two of Cups, absolutely perfect for you, whoever they are. There's something to do with this person being kind of enlightened in some way. So, I don't know if they've been through something and it just means that they have a lot of kind of knowledge, like they're very wise about certain things or if they're kind of spiritual in some way, but they have a lot of information, they have a lot of knowledge. They're actually someone, this person was brought to this world to bring peace. Like this person is very, very good at um, solving disputes. They could That could be something that they do for a living in some way, because you have the star here as well, like they might work for a charity or they might work for like some kind of non-profit organization or they might work in healing or something like this, like a counselor or a therapist or something like this. But they're very, they're just a really, really lovely energy. They're very positive to be around, very diplomatic. They are a planner though with the two of wands. You know, this person, this is someone like they, they really like to know what they're gonna do before they do it. This person is gonna let you be very independent. You know, they're not gonna be that kind of person who like, <clears throat> they always need you around. And you know, they're not gonna smother you because they're they're perfectly capable of filling up their own cup. You know, I feel like this person gets along really well with everyone because they're the kind of person like they have one foot in kind of lots of different waters, you know, a bit like yourselves Aquarius, like you're good at doing that, like kind of being friends with everyone. I just feel like there's just no drama with this person at all. You're going to feel very at home with them. Two of Cups energy, like very, very at home. And I think, now, I don't know about you, but as a Gemini, like, I tend, I don't actually miss people that much <laughs> when they're not around. Like, I'm quite good at being in my own company. I feel like that's just an air sign thing. But you will miss this person. Because <clears throat> you guys both want the same things, you know? I want to stay with this person, um... They've, they've been through it in the past and like they may not have always been because I, I think they're quite, they're kind of a quietly confident energy, you know, but they may not have always been that way. Like this is someone who's kind of come into their own 
maybe in the last few years, you know. But with the, with the star and the temperance, you know, it's. I feel like this person is not going to want to work for a corporation. You know what I mean? They're just not that kind of energy. Like you might find that this person is like self-employed or they have their own business or like I said, they work for a charity or like a non-profit organization or something like this. Um, something where they feel like they're making a difference in the world and not just like lining somebody else's pockets. So I'm going to do um, a little spread for how this person is going to see you. So how is this person going to see Aquarius? What qualities does this person see in Aquarius? all the qualities this person is looking for. And let's get one more. Okay, I'll take the one that fell because <laughs> otherwise I'm holding about 20. Okay, so you have, let's see. You have peaceful and relaxed. Yeah, see, I feel like this is what they're looking for. Because this person is very peaceful and like very chill, I think they're looking for someone that is the same. Like someone that's not gonna deliver them a lot of drama, like that's not just gonna be a complete, you know, yeah, like a drama queen, you know, like always wanting and like always carrying on and making a holy show and dragging you into drama you know they, they, they see you as like relaxed and peaceful faithful they see you as someone that's going to be very faithful because this person is very faithful this person is very loyal so they you know they want someone who's able to reflect the same qualities and you know that they have energetic so they see you as energetic and you have boisterous and unique well, that is very, very true for an Aquarius, the unique part. Um, and they also see you as boisterous. So they see you as like energetic and boisterous. So they see you as having like a nice combination of, you know, you're, you're chill, like you're faithful, you're not gonna do crazy shit, but also like, you know, you're still energetic and unique and like a lot of fun to be around. And also, I feel there's something here I want to say that you're not like a pushover. You know, they like that you have like that independent streak that Aquarius have. You know what I mean? Because maybe they've dealt with bimbos in the past. You know, male or female? Yes, males can be bimbos, I assure you. <laughs> I assure you they can. So how is this person feeling about Aquarius or how are they going to feel about Aquarius? Temperance, oh my god, they see you as like really similar to themselves. Oh, five of pentacles. Nine of cups. The 
Ace of Cups and the Moon. Okay, so they see you as kind of mysterious. Um, with the Hermit at the bottom, I don't read reversals, okay? With the Hermit at the bottom, I think this person sees you as something like, not that you're introverted, but you definitely like to think about things, you know, which is something that they really, really like. And you have the Ten of Cups here. The nine plus the one is the ten. So like this person sees you as their Ten of Cups, you know, or they're going to see you as their Ten of Cups, like someone that, like you just completely float their boat. You know, you just have all the qualities that this person is looking for in a long-term partner. Like, they see you as someone they can have a lot... Like, you would be excellent for a long-term partnership. You know what I mean? Like, marriage, children, moving in together. All this kind of stuff. And it's interesting because you've come out the, the temperance in the same place that your person had it. So, um, they see you as, like, very similar to them, you know? <clears throat> like someone that gets along with everyone, like you're very balanced, you know, you're very independent. <clears throat> Sorry, Aquarius. <clears throat> you're very independent, like you're able to fill your own cup. Um, they also see you as someone that has a lot of knowledge. You know, like, it's this kind of knowledge. It's like, it's like being wise rather than having a lot of knowledge, it's being wise. You know, it's like that kind of knowledge that you you only get from like, you know, the school of life. <laughs> you know, you don't really get it from like books and reading and stuff. Um, yeah, but I think this is really what they, you're very calm. They really like that about you, that you get along very well with everyone. They do see you as this Five of Pentacles though, so I think they see you as kind of being left out in the cold a little bit. And they wonder why. Like this person wonders why. Like I don't know if, also with the Temperance, and speaking about them as well, the Temperance comes after some kind of change or disruption. So if this applies to you, you might have recently broken up with someone when you meet this person. Or something else in your life might have changed. You know, maybe you fell out with your family or you fell out with your friends or you moved house or you changed jobs or something. Um, but there's something here about you being left out in the cold. So that could be for some of you, like you meet this person when you've broken up with someone else. That doesn't mean you're going to break up with the person you're with just now, by the way. Like, <clears throat> or if you're thinking about someone and you're like, oh my god, does this mean like it's not going to work out with that person I'm thinking of? No, doesn't mean that. Um, because they may, they may also with this five of pentacles just think, like maybe you're someone that's single a lot and this person's like, why? <laughs> why are you single? You shouldn't be single. You should be in a relationship. You should have a boyfriend or like you should have a girlfriend. You know? But that's part of the Aquarius thing, you know, it's not that, I think it's not that you guys like being single, but it's like, you're actually okay with it, you know what I mean, you're that kind of energy, you're very much like Gemini in that respect, it's like, you know what, I'm not just gonna, you know, get with just anyone, because most people kind of annoy me, <laughs> so like, yeah, you're gonna have to be pretty special to get into my inner circle. So they might, they might wonder though, they might be like, oh my god, like Aquarius, I don't understand like why you're single. Um, nine of, uh, nine of cups here, like they see you as someone, <clears throat> um, like kind of happy-go-lucky, you know, in the, like even if you are single when you meet this person, you know, like I said, you're actually fine with it. You know, it's that kind of energy where you're, you're like, well, I'm not at the 10, but like, you know, I have all these cups of wine. <laughs> like, I'm actually just fine um, by myself. You know, it's like a very positive, grateful energy, like being grateful for what you have, um, you know. And that's the kind of energy that brings more blessings down onto you. So they just see you as like a very kind of happy-go-lucky energy. Very sweet. 
Um, but with this Ace of Cups, like they see you as someone, you know, like they have a lot, you have a lot of love to give. And I think this person falls in love with you very quickly, you know, because that's so sweet. Like the Nine of Cups, you know, with the, because obviously this amounts to the 10, but it's like with the Nine, like I said, you're like fine by yourself, but they want to give you that extra Ace of Cups to make you whole. Not that you're incomplete, but you know, to get you to the 10, because this person thinks you should be in a relationship, basically. Like this person's like, I don't think you should be single. Um, I think you should be with me because I can make you really happy. Like I understand that you're happy by yourself, but I can make you even happier, you know? So I, you know, Ace of Cups, this person's gonna have a lot of love for you very quickly, Aquarius. And it's gonna be very genuine, very pure love. They do see you as mysterious with the moon. They might also see you as quite kind of psychic or quite, that candle is going nuts. Like it has not been that, that's a high flame. I wonder what that means. I just feel this person is very excited about meeting you because you are so unique. I think you're just everything this person has been looking for. Also, I think you're a bit of a challenge, <laughs> which they like, you know, uh, but yeah, with the moon, you know, a bit of a mystery because this is a thing like you guys don't, you know, give a lot away about yourselves very quickly. So you're a bit of a challenge, but um, they might see you as someone like kind of psychic, you know, very intuitive, like you can kind of see, you know, like Taylor Swift, sometimes it's like she, I don't know looks like she's seeing into your soul, do you know what I mean? It's like, why do you look like you know all my secrets? Um, you know, they might see you a bit like that, but very mysterious, very alluring. Um, I'm just going to shuffle these again because I haven't even asked yet, Spirit. So, how's this person going to feel about Aquarius, please? How, no. What does this person want Aquarius to know? I'm gonna just drop that one. Okay. And let's get one more. Two, okay. You also have secret admirer at the bottom of the deck. So this could be someone, like I said, you've not met them yet, or you might have met them, but either way, you know, it says someone has deeper feelings for you than they're, than they're letting on. So, but it could be someone that's not made their presence known yet. They're just kind of watching you from afar. Um, or this could be someone you already know that feels a lot deeper about you than you know. Um, but they are seeing you as this hermit. So they do see you as somebody very wise. Um, not introverted, but like I said, maybe, you know, you don't mind spending some time on your own. You know, it's, it's there's like a very wise quality about you that I think this person really likes. They really, I think they really like that you're not crazy. So I don't know if they've had past experiences with like crazy chicks or crazy dudes, um, but they really like that you're not like that. And they see you as like very balanced, you know, also very fair. You know, they see you as somebody very fair, which is, of course, Aquarius energy. You know, give everyone a fair chance. Everything should be equal, you know. So you guys, I don't know, some of you might work for a charity. Or you might meet each other when you're doing some charity work or something. Something like that. Um, okay, you have close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. See, this person, <laughs> they think you should be happy, basically, and they feel like you would be happier with them, <laughs> basically. And I don't know if there's something holding you back at the moment. I can't remember the first part of the reading. Um, because it's channeled. 
I don't know if there's something holding you back at the moment, but this person is saying like, don't let your current circumstances stop you from feeling joy. You deserve to be happy, you know? Cause I don't know if you slightly hold yourself back because it's like, I don't know. Cause sometimes when you're single for a long time, you get into that kind of energy of like, oh my God, maybe I'm supposed to be single. Like maybe, uh, you know, Maybe I'm better off single. Maybe I'm one of those people that's just supposed to be single. Like, would I be able to have like a long-term relationship? You know what I mean? There's, I feel there's some kind of block there. And this person is telling you, you need to release that block because it's time for you to be in a relationship. It's time for you to be in a long-term relationship and let yourself be happy. Because they want you to know they're not going to try, like I said earlier, they're not going to try and like fence you in. You know, they just want you to be happy. And they just feel like they have this extra cup of love that they can give to you to make you even happier. You have playfulness. Laughter is... The, now that's... It came out with healing, so I want to read them together. You have playfulness and healing. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. And you have healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. So this person, I think they think you're too serious. This person really wants to give you some fun. I don't know if you're in a situation at the moment where it's been all like gloom and doom. Or they just feel like you need some fun. They just want to, I think this person just really wants to have fun with you because, but also like long term, you know, but this person, I don't know if they're really funny. They might be really, really funny. Like they might have a really great sense of humor and they're saying like they can heal you. by having fun with you basically like you're gonna have a lot of fun with this person and you're gonna find it very healing so i don't know if you have been in a situation at the moment that's been all like doom and gloom especially with this five of pentacles you know feeling left out in the cold or whatnot um this person might see you as a twin flame your passion ignites so they have a lot of passion for you they're very very attracted to you and I think that twin flame thing is kind of like that yin yang thing. Even if it's, you know, that twin flame thing doesn't resonate with you. Um, the whole twin flame thing is very much about that yin yang, opposite sides, like the sober yin to my raging yang, you know? I think that's actually from an episode of The Simpsons. <laughs> but um, yeah, like they, they think you're good, like you're a good energetic match. You know, you also have a look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way and you have a new beginning, a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. So this person's all over this with you. Like they really want this new beginning with you. They're very excited about it. They have a lot of passion for you. There is this little message though I feel like you're holding back or when you meet this person you're gonna hold back and I don't know if it's because you're tied or you feel like you're tied to someone in your past or like I said you just almost feel like you don't deserve to be in a relationship because you're not meant to be or something because you've been single for a long time but they want you to think this person could be a counsellor <laughs> They have this kind of, you know, I think this person, now, I know Aquarius is you guys don't really like to talk about feelings and shit like that, that much. You don't really give a lot away, but I think you're going to give more away than you bargained for with this person in, ter in terms of feelings and things. I think they're very good at talking and they're going to be very good at talking this information out of you because there's something very, very sweet about them and very personable. This person's very, very personable. So this person's asking you to actually look inside yourself and examine 
why it is you feel like you're better off alone. You remember that Alice DJ song, Better Off Alone? <laughs> I'm showing my age now. Um, I love that song. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing, although I am tempted. Um, okay, so we're gonna do the potential outcome of this connection, Aquarius. Okay, so what spirit, what would you like Aquarius to know about this connection? What would you like Aquarius to know about this connection, about the outcome of this connection? What would you like Aquarius to know? Just dropped half the deck. What would you like Aquarius to know about the outcome of this situation or the outcome of this connection? Eight of Wands. Blockages are going to be removed. This person is very good at talking. Like they're very open. They're like an open book. Yeah, this is going to happen quite fast. Like you, you're either going to meet this person quite quickly and it's going to kick off kind of fast because I feel they're very charming. They're really charming. I really like this energy. Um, or if you're waiting for this person to message you, they're going to message you kind of suddenly out of the blue and things are going to shift quite suddenly in a good way, you know, um, because the eight of wands is like blocks being removed. The wheel of fortune is like sudden movements, things suddenly shifting. Page of Pentacles, the Strength card, and the Queen of Wands. Well, well, <laughs> what a beautiful reading. Okay. Oh, interesting. Queen of Wands and the King of Swords. And you have the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So, you've certainly met your match. Yeah, look, there's just no, this Ten of Swords, right? All this crap that you've been through in the past, you know, there's an end. I don't know if some of you have been through a very painful ending recently. Um, that's kind of making you think this new person's too good to be true, but they're not. Three of Cups, this is a celebration. It's a wish fulfillment. They're going to make you feel very, very happy. It's going to happen fast, all right? But either way, like if you've, if this is a specific situation or just, you know, you feel like you're always single or you feel like you're always getting rejected, that's coming to an end. That period of your life is coming to an end, okay? It is going to come out of nowhere. This Eight of Wands with this Ace of Pentacles, this person's going to make you an offer out of nowhere. It's going to come in very, very fast. 
that ace of pentacles can vary in anything from like going for a cup of coffee to engagement you know it's that kind of it's something there's communication and there's this offer okay but the eight of wands is things happening very suddenly as is the wheel of fortune it's also communication you know the eight of wands is communication with this offer and you know this ace of pentacles this is like leading to the little cottage in the ten of cups you know um the cottage in the four of wands or the castle or whatever they're in you have the wheel of fortune because you know it's a serious offer the ace of pentacles is something serious you have the wheel of fortune with the fool so this is a new beginning that comes in quickly I mean, it comes in like all of a sudden, like you're not expecting it and just all of a sudden there is, you know. The, now, the thing about the the Fool is um, it's good energy, okay, it's all good, but you might kind of have to be flexible, you know, like if you've been waiting on this person for a while, you know, someone specific, they might just come out of the blue and just be like, you want to go for a coffee? And it kind of throws you a little bit or something, right? Um... Or it can be meeting someone like randomly in a coffee shop and just having that presence of mind, you know, I don't know, maybe it's early in the morning and this person starts talking to you and usually you would just be like, oh, get out of my face, don't talk to me. But you know, maybe after watching this reading, you'll be like, huh, well, maybe I'll be nice to you because, you know, maybe you're this person <laughs> or something like that, you know. Um, this person's going to make you an offer, all right? Page of Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles. They could be an Earth sign. It could be Sagittarius. There's more, um, there's air energy. There's uh, Aries. Page of Pentacles, they could be a younger Earth sign. I feel this is you, this page of pentacles, I actually feel this is you. It's kind of taken you, a, it might take you a while. I think you're surprised. There might be something about this person that you're surprised how open they are. Because the six of pentacles, they could be your boss. They could be a customer where you work. I can't remember if I've already said that earlier in the reading. But this person is very, very open, very, very generous. And I think it kind of makes you come out of yourself despite yourself. You know what I mean? Because I know, I know I've said it before, but I know you guys kind of like to keep yourselves to yourselves a bit. Like you're very social and stuff, but you know, it takes, you know, takes a lot of work to get past that you know, Aquarius, <laughs> Aquarius ball where you actually tell people real stuff about yourself, do you know what I mean? Um, rather than like, because Gemini's do it too, you know, it's like talk about the weather, talk about cooking, talk about astronomy, anything other than actually asking me about myself, right? Um, but this person will, will drag it out of you and I feel quite willingly, you know, so Page of Pentacles, you might have been single for a while and it's kind of gingerly, you're kind of giving yourself to this person, kind of gingerly starting to open up. You might even find you're a little shy with this person at first because they're quite a big energy, but they're really lovely, you know, like they might be the kind of person when you first meet them, you would maybe assume they were a bit of an arsehole for some reason because of like the job that they do or because they are very, they might be very well known or something like that. Or like what they do, they might be quite important in some way. Like their job title or something like this. They might get a lot of attention or something for it, but they're really lovely. They might work I keep coming back to the scales here. They might do something to do with like justice. Not necessarily the justice system, but in making sure things are fair. You have the strength here with the five of pentacles. So this is coming in out of the cold, all right? Um, especially with the strength card. 
because it's you know the strength card is um you could be dealing with a Leo as well by the way but the strength card is this person likes to talk <laughs> okay like they like to talk about they just like to get things out in the open you know they want to make sure you're okay so the strength card there's gonna be lots of open honest conversations they want to make sure you're okay they like to discuss if your needs are met, if there's anything else they can do, this kind of thing. They're just gonna bring you in out of the cold. You know, they're just, they're very persistent. This person is very persistent, you know, cause they really, they really love you. There's something, I think there's something about you that captivates them quite quickly. I wanna say that you're more shy than this person for some reason. But it's like they're going to keep digging until they get the real you out because they're fascinated, absolutely fascinated. Um, you have the Queen of Wands here and you have the King of Swords. So let's clarify those two. And let me just scratch my head. <laughs> um, okay. Why are the Queen of Wands and the King of Swords there, please? Oh my gosh, the Queen of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Queen of Swords, and you have the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So there's going to be a lot of, yeah, a lot of mutual love here, Queen of Pentacles, a lot of grounding. It's going to be a very grounded relationship, lots of mutual support. You're going to find this person is very, very supportive. And you're going to find there's a lot of mutual overflowing love between the two of you. Ten of Wands, you're going to be all these subconscious fears that have led you to get your, to keep your heart chakra blocked over the years. You're going to be putting them down with this person, okay? Um, I don't know if there's an earth sign in your past that maybe had something to do with your blocked heart chakra. I mean, not that your heart chakra is blocked. What I mean is like, um, you know, when something's hurt you, it kind of, it, it gets into the heart chakra because the heart chakra is almost like the brain of the chakra system. So it kind of leaves scars. So like when I say it's not open, I just mean there's like a little bit of, it's almost hard to allow a genuine person in to love you because you feel like you don't deserve it, is what I'm trying to say. Um, so there's a little bit of defensiveness here, okay? Queen of Wands, King of Swords, Queen of Swords. But there's gonna be an awful lot of talking <laughs> in this connection, all right? Because I feel like you're showing up here as the Queen of Wands. I know that's not your sign technically, but I feel like you're showing up here as this Queen of Wands because you're very, very used to being independent, almost hyper-independent, you know? And there's almost this energy with the Queen of Wands of kind of an energy of like, why would I settle down with you? Like, what is it that you're bringing to the table that I need? Like, why am I... <laughs> Um, you know, I'm doing perfectly well by myself, like I have lots of friends, I have a good job. Why is it that you're kind of, you think I need you? You know, this kind of energy here. And I think this King of Swords here, let's clarify him. I'm not sure if this is you or your person. 
Who is this King of Swords, please? Ah, uh, no, I know what it is. So, this King of Swords energy, Queen of Wands, King of Swords, this is, I think this is you. This is both your energy. Um, because there's this kind of Queen of Wands energy, like, you're really trying, you don't want to get hurt. This could also be them, but I feel like it's more, it's you. I feel like you don't want to be hurt, so you're kind of almost guarding yourself here with this King of Swords energy, but there's going to be lots of talking. Queen of Swords energy, there's going to be lots of talking, which means that you're kind of able to let go of this. And I also want to say with the King and the Queen of Swords, they could be another ear sign or they could be a Virgo, but um, this person is really, really going to stimulate your mind because they're very smart. You're very smart. They're very smart. There's going to be some really awesome conversations here. I think this person is very methodical. They might be kind of slow moving. They're going to be very, very patient with you. Um, but yeah, I just think there's going to be an awful lot of talking in this connection. And they're going to be very patient. And I think you're really going to love that. I really, really think you're going to love this person. They're very, they're very cool. Okay, what else would you like Aquarius to know, please? Also, this is a fated connection. King of Swords also um, always means it's a fated connection. And the King and the Queen of Swords, this is a soulmate. It's a soulmate connection. This person could work. They're going to be very, very protective of you. They're very smart. Nobody messes with this person. There's something about this person. They have a very un energy and they're going to use it to protect you. Not that you need protecting. They know that, <laughs> they're fully aware of that, but they still want to. They could be military, they could be police, they could work in, the, with the King of Swords, they could work in the Justice Department in some way. But this, this you, I think you're dealing with someone that uses their, their brain rather than like something dexterous for their work, you know what I mean? They're very good at talking. Okay, you have dancer number six. If I can get her to focus. Okay, what is she? Um, spirituality, creativity, harmony. So, <clears throat> I do think there's going to be an awful lot of harmony in this connection with you guys. I think it's just going to be very harmonious. Also, I want to say with this woman, male or female, like regardless of if you're male or female, there's something about... you. I think you're actually going to be very shocked by the amount of attention you get from this person. I think you're not used to getting a lot of attention. No, you're used to getting attention, but not delivered. Like this person is very happy to give you lots of attention and there's nothing negative about it. You know, like this person thinks you are very, very beautiful or very, very attractive. Um, like it's a pet, like if you're the feminine, they're gonna really bolster your feminine. And if you're the masculine, they're gonna like make you feel very masculine. Do you know what I mean? They're really gonna bolster one side of you like that. They're gonna make you feel really attractive. They're gonna give you lots and lots of attention. More than I think you're used to receiving in a relationship. 
That's what I mean. Because even if you get a lot of attention in your daily life, because you are showing up as this Queen of Wands, you know, who's someone very warm, very personable, tends to have the spotlight on her. But um, this is a different kind of attention. It's not just like, hey, like I'm trying to get in your pants, try, like kind of attention. It's like, or you know, basic bitches trying to fight with you or something like that. This is like, genuinely, they think you're wonderful and they really want to get to know you and they, there's something they really want to bring you out into the light more, even more than you are now. So I'm going to leave it there, Aquarius. Um, I hope it was useful. I hope my sore throat didn't um, ruin the reading too much. Thank you very much for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that, Aquarius. Take care and lots of love and light.